Then a reminder day, you the baddest bitch on the block. Not my block. Your block, what's up? <laughs> Welcome back to my channel, guys. So today I'm so excited because I have some tapins here from Curls Queen. I can't wait to install them. So this is my hair. I washed it like 30 minutes ago, brushed it out, and then ate some food. So it's like maybe 50% dry. So I'm gonna show you guys how I style it and everything like that. But I wanna show you guys everything that Curls Queen sent me for this video. But I believe this is the 80 piece set. I think this is two 40 piece sets of the water curly 22 inch hair so i'm super excited i love you guys if you've been following me for a while you know that i love wearing tape ins pretty much all of my recent instagram pictures with my hair longer has been tape ins of some sort so i love wearing like curly hair tape ins because i can just wear it without putting heat to my hair and then whenever i do straighten the hair it really blends it with my real hair so it doesn't look like super silky and then my hair has some texture so i really love these tape ins from curls queen i wore these in my last video if you guys didn't see that then i'll link that and you can check that one out as well but i'm really excited about this hair in particular because this hair is super curly and the last one was more of like a loose wave so this one is going to be really pretty i think honestly guys my hair isn't that curly anymore i don't know what happened um i don't know if it's just from heat damage or bleach damage or like my texture change and after i had my baby my hair isn't super curly anymore but i'm gonna try to like maybe do like two braids and then take it down and it'll be curly so we're gonna see how that goes if not then i'll just straighten it and it'll be like the same texture so this is the bag that they sent the hair in which is so cute you guys probably saw this in the last video and on the inside they give you this beautiful gold bonnet like i actually love this so much it's like the best quality bonnet i've ever had and it's like a reversible one so it's like a light beige color on the inside and a gold color on the outside so you can wear it either way they send you some clips some replacement tape a comb like a rat tail metal tail comb this is really good for sectioning a detangling brush i love these kind of brushes because they're super gentle on your hair so you don't have to worry about it like ripping your hair out or causing damage so i just wanted to get off the pack so it's just one like this and these are really good i love having these for me and for the girls and then they also sent me these little velcro section things because today I'm actually going to be trying to do a DIY install. So I'm going to be installing these tape ins on myself. This is my first time doing this ever. In my last video I said that I didn't recommend it. But honestly y'all, we're about to be in a recession if we're not already. The price of gas is going up. The price of food is going up. And the prices of hairstylists is going up too. So yeah, I feel like we should just learn how to do our hair at home, right? So I kind of want to just try it and see if I can do it and then like if I can do it then I really don't have to go to a hairstylist for anything because that's like the main thing I go to a hairstylist for and honestly I'd rather just do my own hair like I'd rather just learn how to do it myself and take care of it myself because I wear tape pins all the time anyway so if I can do it on myself game changer so um yeah i think i'm gonna just go ahead and get into the install because i don't want to waste no time i really want to get this hair into my head so that i can just move on with my life and get my day started so yeah so wash my hair i just washed it with the hair affinity shampoo and conditioner i'll show it to y'all real quick so this is the hair affinity shampoo and conditioner that i use on my hair this is part of their new hair affinity elite line and i really like it because it's made for curly hair so it's made for like conditioning um, like making your hair soft and hydrated, which is really good for me. But whenever I do tape ins, I always wash my hair twice and then I condition my hair, but only like from the ends down. You don't want to get the conditioner on your roots because that's where the tape ins need to stick to your hair. So if you have any type of products, any conditioner, leave in conditioner or anything like that, it won't stick and it'll just slip out. So make sure that you don't use any conditioner on your roots and i put a little bit of this good behavior leave-in conditioner in my hair just because it's like a heat protectant 
and then i also use this chi heat protectant as well because like i said my hair is kind of i don't know what's going on lately like it's very much given straight so if it is heat just like straight from heat damage then i don't want to put like more heat damage on it or at least i'm going to try to avoid it so to style my hair for the tape ends i'm just going to be blow drying it with this little um this is like the foxy bay I don't know blow drying brush i think they have like a revlon one and a conair one so you can get these like at your i got this one at cbs you can get these at cbs tj maxx anything like that they usually have these but this thing pretty much gets my hair straight and smooth and i don't really have to straighten it i might need to straighten the roots a little bit right after but i'm gonna just go through and kind of do like a blowout and then i'm gonna attach the tape ends to that because i don't really know how i would get my hair like you need your hair dry to put the tape ends in right so i'm gonna do that and then yeah we'll see how we go what we're gonna do from there but yeah i'm just taking small sections and just blow down it why i don't do my own hair y'all because i am sweating but yeah so my hair is dry and the um blow dryer did smooth it pretty good so i don't think i need to go back in with a flat iron on my um my roots or anything i think it will be fine but i'm gonna leave it on just in case oh it's so hot but yeah if you're wondering why my hair looks like <coughs> looks like this like all short I did just get it cut and I've been having to keep it like pretty short recently. I've just been cutting it a lot every chance I get really <laughs> because you guys know I had my hair blonde for a little bit and it was all cool. The second time I bleached it was definitely drier but it really went downhill whenever I tried to do it myself at home and I actually recorded that video for you guys but my hair did not come out the way that I wanted it to so I never did post it. So yeah, now I'm like trying to grow my hair back. So word of advice, don't bleach your hair. <laughs> for all the girlies, don't bleach your own hair. For all the girlies out there that are just kind of like me and was just like impatient and just wanted it, something done. But I'm just putting my hair up right now because I, I, am, I am recording a TikTok too for the um, company. So I just don't want to get on there looking all crazy and like the front of my hair I have bangs cut and I also have like shorter pieces on the side so it just doesn't look as cute to me whenever it's just all down if it's not like styled but it looks a little bit better whenever I put it up like a little bit more presentable if I do like a half up half down guys make sure you follow me on tiktok too at jasmine Toledano. i'm actually on there a lot more than i am on youtube these days because it's just so easy to record like a 15 second video and post it so yeah follow me on there and then let me record some just okay so 
I'm a little bit like nervous about this low key because I'm like, how am I gonna see the back of my head? I'm gonna have to bring my mirror in here with me, but I'm gonna just start off with sectioning first. So actually I do wanna wear a side part this time around. I've been feeling the side part, especially with curly hair. I like to wear the middle part. So I wanna be able to just clip it around. And that's one of the good things about tape ins is that you can really customize it to whatever you want. So I've had tape ins before where I left like a section in the middle out or my stylist left a section in the middle out so that I can do two braids down the middle, like two, um, two French braids whenever I work out. And then you can also like leave a little section like going diagonal straight across so you can do half up half down. Um, I don't really do that. Like I don't usually leave a section right there. It's really easy to do though. Um, whether or not you have like hair out or whatever, usually the hair will cover, you know, the hair will cover the tapes because they're so small. It's very like undetectable. So look at these little ponies i feel like a baby <laughs> i feel like a little toddler with these in all right so now we have two like that so i want to do like two separate sections in the back I'm gonna work on this section first um so yeah there's a lot of taping guides on pinterest so if you want to see like a map of like where to place your tape ins you can follow that i have been wearing tape ins for a long time so i'm just kind of gonna play it by ear for this little bottom piece right here i'm gonna try to do like 10 or maybe a little bit more than 10 because this section is so small so yeah let's just go ahead and get placing So that's my natural hair length. Okay, anyways. I'm gonna start pretty low. Thank you. 
Okay, so, so far, I have the first little, like, bottom section done. And I'm so excited because I didn't think I would be able to do this on my own. But as you guys can see, it's really just about, like, really taking your time. Um, so, I pretty much just take... So, instead of doing, like, section... I guess I'm still doing, like, section by section in the back. But I really want to make sure I still have one in the middle so it doesn't look like it has a little gap there. But, um, I'm just taking... So, I did two in the first row. I did three on the next row. The next row, I believe I'm going to do three. And then, as my head gets a little bit wider, then I'll go up to four. And then, I'll go back down to three. And then, back down to two. So, you guys will see that. But... Um, pretty much all I'm doing is taking like a very thin little sliver. You kind of want to be able to see through it, like be able to see like a newspaper through it. That's kind of like what they say whenever you're like coloring in school, like whenever you take a little section, you want it to be so thin that you can kind of read through it. Um, take a thin little section, put the tape in at the bottom, press the hair on top, and then you just have to line up the top tape in to where it's right on top. So I kind of line it up first with my fingers and then I press it down once I see that it is like perfectly aligned. So I'm so excited. I can't wait to see how this comes out. I'm going to go ahead and finish the back. Um, I may put some clips in there if you guys want to see, but I'm going to definitely come back and do the sides. I feel like you guys might be able to see that a little bit better. And yeah, I'm so excited. Hey, boos. So I went and put my glasses on and moved the mirror a little bit. But I did, I guess I'll show you guys what I did so far. So yeah, I'm like almost to the top. And look at how good that looks, y'all. Like, what? This is my hair. But yeah, side note, also my hair, my natural hair feels super soft. So... I think it may be the hair affinity I've been taking or the fish oil, lack of heat, rosemary oil. I don't know, y'all. I've been doing a lot to my hair because I'm trying to grow it back. If you guys want, like, a full hair care video, I'll make another one for you. But honestly, I don't know if I'm in any place, any position to give any hair care tips or hair growing tips because I effed my hair up last year with bleach and I had to, like, cut it all off. But... Maybe after I grow it, grow it a little bit and like the, it gets super healthy, I'll make another video. But right now I'm just prepping for this next row. So on this next row, I'm going to go ahead and do four pieces. That's what I've done for like the last three rows. I think this would be my last row of doing four. And then my next one, I should be able to do three. And then I should probably just have like one more row in the back. But going ahead and taking off the tape makes it a lot easier. And I'll be honest, guys, this process is a lot easier than what I thought it was going to be. As long as you have two mirrors and you can see the back of your head, you should be able to do this by yourself with no problem. So, I'm so excited because now I don't have to pay anyone to do my tapings anymore. I can just do them at home. So, this is about to save me so much money. Like, guys, I want to really learn how to do everything on my own just in case we go into, like, some type of situation where we can only afford the bare necessities because you know you still want to look cute even during a recession so i have two four six so okay this is the last one okay and pretty much i've just been letting both of the sections down at one time i'll turn to the back so you guys can see i've just been letting both of the sections down at one time and going from the middle out so i'll show you guys what i mean here I'm working from the middle out and I'm just taking a thin little piece of hair I'm actually gonna make this a little bit thinner you want the tape ends to be able to stick to each other through your hair so and I'm just putting the first one right under I'm trying to align it then I just take my finger and smooth the hair over first and then I take the second tape in and I find that other tape in where it starts and ends. Yeah. And I just take the second tape in and fill around and make sure I get it right on top of that other tape in. Yeah. 
And then once it's lined up, I just squeeze it together. And that's all I've been doing. So I'm going to go ahead and do this row. I've also seen some people saying that after you squeeze it together, you can take a flat iron like this one or whatever, just like a flat iron and just squeeze the tapes together and it makes it hold better. Um, I'm not going to do that just because I've been wearing tape ends for so long and I've never had anyone do that to me. So I don't feel like it's super necessary. But if you want to make sure that it's super secure and won't come out your hair, then you can try doing that. But yeah, I'm about to finish this little section. And if you guys, if any of you guys have been following me for a while <clears throat> and you're wondering why you haven't seen the girls on my channel in a while, um, honestly, I've just been too busy to record all of us together and I kind of want to start showing them like a little bit less. Like I'll still feature them every now and then, <clears throat> but I don't want them to be the focus of my channel or anything. So yeah, you guys will see them soon whenever I do like little vlogs and stuff. But yeah, let me get back to the middle. Wow, this is a lot of hair. Okay, so I'm gonna start with this side first because this side needs the most hair. I really like to listen to piano music, so hopefully, this doesn't get copyright or anything. I'm gonna just turn it down a little bit. Okay, so the sides are tricky. I've tried to do, let me pull this up a little bit. I feel like the sides are trickier than the back. I don't know, I might just be overthinking it. But I'ma just get started. Cause I feel like they kinda need to be at an angle, but I'ma just, I'm not gonna overthink it, I'ma just do it. I'm gonna put you guys to the side a little bit more so you can hopefully see. Guys, I have a bald spot right here from wearing tape ends. Oh, that sucks. Damn. I have a whole bald spot. What the fuck? We're just gonna act like we don't see that. And I'll be honest with y'all. So the ball spots, they don't come. I have a few ball spots. I know I do. 
but the bald spots don't come from like the way that you take them out like if you're gentle and you use the solution the bald spots come whenever you're brushing your hair and detangling it and you're being rough or like trying to be too fast it's e very, 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 I've had this happen so many times. It's very easy to like, yank a whole tape in out and it'll take a whole chunk of hair out. So just be um, gentle whenever you're detangling your hair and taking it out and all of that. Because, girl, that's a mess. Okay. But we're just gonna act like it's not even there. <laughs> right? Because we can't stress about what's already happened. Like, we just gotta move on. You can't worry about the pets. Okay, and I'm gonna just do another, just one tape in for this section, because again, it's very small. Like, look at that. I already cured my hair deficiency with just two tapes. Like, what? So cute. I can't wait to spray this down with some water and leave my baby hairs. It's really easy once you get the hang of it. And my battery's dying. I'm gonna let the phone, not the phone, I'm gonna let the camera charge for a little bit. And I'm gonna come back and show you how I'm finishing this side. But I'm pretty sure you guys are gonna get the gist at this point. Alright guys, so I'm almost done. Look at all this hair. Like, did y'all see what I started with and now I have all this hair? Y'all. This is like 10 years of growth right here. Okay, but I only have two more sections left to do on this side and then I can get into styling it. Now that it's in my head, I think I'm just gonna spray some water and put in like some mousse and style my baby hair. And I think that would be it for like the styling. Um, Cause I actually don't wanna straighten it, I just wanna wear it curly. And my dog is looking for attention right now y'all, so just ignore her. So I have actually just enough to finish this little section. So, cause I have, yeah, I'm gonna do two more sections of two pieces and then I will be done. So I've just been doing it like an inch away from my hairline. And y'all, once you really get the hang of it, it's so easy. So this is really about to be my new go-to. I love wearing tape ins in general, so if I can do it on myself, it's a win win. Alright, 
We have one more section and then we're done. Wow. This looks absolutely insane. Wow. This is sick. Look at all this hair. I'm obsessed. Ah, this is so cute. I can just play with it all day. Like it's so bomb. And I like that I can do the middle part, like I said. And then, I'm sorry, the side part. And then the middle part. Yes, sir. Yeah. Let's do, let's go ahead and style it, huh? This is a little reminder that you the best bit on the block. Not my block. Be your block, what's up? a quick little styling but look at all this freaking gorgeous glamorous fabulous hair like I need to close this door look at all this fabulousness have you ever seen anything more mm. like talk to me nice all right maybe I'm back because it's getting real all right, so I'm definitely doing a side part. <sighs> so I'm gonna just spray it with this water bottle. Go ahead and do that all over my head just brush it out and then i'm gonna do my baby hairs i need to let this camera charge a little bit more because it's dying again so i'll be back with it all styled and looking cute and i'll tell you guys my final thoughts okay guys so this is the finished product all dried isn't it so gorgeous like it's really giving but so this is with the side part um i'll show you guys up oh, ponytail we're going to do a high ponytail or bun you can even do half up half down just make sure you cover your tapes I did also a middle part so let me just yeah this is with the middle part it's not gonna look right on this side because it's obviously going to the side but with the middle part still super cute definitely a vibe and yeah you can just flip it over like that you can really just play with it and do whatever you want with it I'm obsessed with this look Like, it's just given, like, really effortless and just, you can just wake up and go, you know, put two braids in your hair at night and just wake up and go and you look bomb. 
so yeah if you guys want to see a video on me straightening this hair comment down below and let me know but other than that i really love this hair and i'm probably going to continue to wear it just curly like this because i do work out like almost daily and i sweat and stuff and even though my hair isn't like super curly it still does get pretty frizzy so this will mask most of that and i think it's just so gorgeous i really want to put some highlights and stuff in here too so i don't know if you guys want to see like if i do that then comment down below and let me know but this is let me show you guys so this is how far the hair comes down to stretched out so that's like way below my waist and this is the 22 inches like i said and this is actually the adp so i think this is the um considered like the glam set and it's so gorgeous um a little bit more details about the hair this is the water curly so this is the water curly 22 inch glam set i believe the adp set and it's absolutely beautiful but it's absolutely gorgeous they definitely did their thing with this hair and yeah i don't know i'm obsessed i don't really know what else to say like i said i've worn this hair before hair from this company before and my last experience was amazing so i'm pretty sure this one's gonna be amazing too if you guys want to see my like taping maintenance days or like how i straighten it or coloring it whatever oh comment down below and let me know but i think that's it for this video um thank you so much to curls queen for sponsoring this video and sending me this gorgeous hair if you guys want to see more content of me in this hair or like other ways that i style it make sure that you follow me on instagram at jasmine Taladano and on tiktok at jasmine Taladano. i post on those two platforms almost daily so thank you guys so much for watching this video i can't stop touching my hair because it's so gorgeous Yeah. Thank you guys so much for watching this video and I'll see you in my next one.